Hey guys, Jerk the Game and Dragon, gonna be doing some more Black Ops gameplay. This is gonna be on the map Grid. And uh, this is usually a game that uh, I use an LMG on, but I always start out with a G11 so I can get these long range shots at the very beginning. But I'm mainly uploading this. Like, this wasn't the best game, it was an amusing game to upload, which is uh, cool. But um, I'm mainly uploading this because I never really used the HA21, and it's honestly not that bad of a gun, but I simply just never use it. <laughs> So I decided to use it, and I figured out it wasn't as bad as I, I remember it being. Maybe I just thought it was bad because it was one of the starter guns, I don't know. But it's actually a pretty decent gun, and I'll show you that throughout the video. But at first, we'll start out with the uh, G11, which pretty much everyone knows the G11 is a pretty damn good gun in this game. Pretty much at any range. I mean, up close, you can easily use the G11 far away. Far away, especially, you can use the G11. It's, it's a very good DMR, almost a sniper, pretty much, in this game. Um... I, there's a lot of things that'll confuse me, like Nova Gas is around, but my teammates already killed all the enemies, and I'm going, what the hell is going on? What? Why is there Nova Gas here? What? <laughs> Just trying to live. Now here, there are three people in there. I saw him on this bike lane, so I came in here. That guy tried to knife me for some stupid reason. Saw that guy, shot him, turned and shot that guy. Both of them had all those guys, actually. I kind of slow response time, but hey, what do you know? I ran in and pretty much just assaulted this room all by myself. Sprinted over and put a claymore down. Usually I put a claymore down. Uh, there I was actually looking at the score, I didn't mean to uh, pull my claymore out. Um, <laughs> that, I saw the guy out of the corner of my eye dive down the stairs, I thought he committed suicide at first, and then I looked over and he was just sprinting off, so not really. Uh, usually I don't put my claymore down there, usually I put it by the door to my right, but uh, I decided to put it over there regardless. I saw all those people on the, the uh, spy plane, decided to kind of look outside. Now I had a delayed reaction to the guy to my right, tried to find him, but he sprinted off. And, uh, this ultimately ended up getting me killed. Now here, I was looking down, trying to focus on someone down, and then I didn't even see the guy right in front of my eyes. And, uh, he ended up killing me. I could have easily got the guy. Like, I had plenty of time to react. But then I switched my HK HK-21E, and, um, just gonna show you that this gun really isn't that bad. Actually, it's pretty good. And, uh, this gun generally works pretty well with LMGs, but it depends on how they're playing. If they're just kind of running inside, it'd be best to use some sort of a, uh, a submachine gun. Or the Fawnloss or AUG, something with a high rate of fire. Flash someone, I didn't know where he went, and then I found him. Uh, but the gun overall works decently well. It's just you can't turn very quick with it because it's an LMG, and you overall react s slow, to say the least. But it's a, it's a pretty damn good gun. It has strength, and it has some range. That's where I usually put Claymores down. It's almost a guaranteed kill if you put one down there if you don't die first. That was a <laughs> delayed reaction to that guy. I thought he was a teammate. I'm a reload whore, if you didn't notice. Every five seconds, I stopped to reload. I uh, got a glimpse of that guy, I chased after him, got him. Uh, but yeah, every single time I kill someone, I stop to reload. <laughs> I, I probably shouldn't. I have 60 rounds in my magazine. I have a drum mag, uh, which they call an extended mag for some reason. But uh, yeah, I got a drum mag, and I'm, I'm reloading every single shot, so I'm kind of defeating the purpose of it to begin with, almost. But whatever. Uh, this map is its interesting. Definitely interesting. It becomes spammy at times. It's definitely fun. And, uh, I don't, it's one of those love it or hate it maps. This map can be frustrating as hell, or it can be fun as hell. Uh, so, ultimately, it depends who you're playing and how they're playing it. Here, I'm just kind of being a cheap bastard here. I'm really just camping inside, just standing around, not doing much. But, whatever, fun enough. And that's, like I said, it's almost a guaranteed kill if, uh, you put a claymore down by that door. And, uh, no one's really coming inside. That was the first guy I got a, I got a kill in a long while. <laughs> I have that happen a lot in this game. Where I'm just kind of looking around, and both of us, I see an enemy, we both just kind of sit there and stop for a moment. And just look at each other. I'm like, oh, huh. It's an enemy. Maybe I should kill him. Alright, so I got a six kill streak. Now, I hate it when this happens. I get a six kill streak. All I really need is four more kills to get attack dogs. And I hate getting killed just short of my kill streaks. On top of that, I only needed one more kill to get the B-52, and the B-52 on this map is, I mean, my gosh, oh, this guy really did suck. Like, he could have easily killed me. <laughs> I gave him plenty of chances, and then I just kind of fell, because I hate that. If you're in last stand, on stairs, and you turn to look down the stairs, you instantly just die. It, you can't go downstairs. You can go upstairs in this game, but you can't go downstairs. It's, it's kind of annoying. Um, what was I even talking about before that? Oh yeah, the B-52. The B-52 is, uh, it's rape in this game. This map specifically. Uh, because usually there's basically one team all in one building and another team in the other building. 
And that guy, I just got lucky to escape not dying there, and I was like, well, fine, I'll throw a flashbang at you if you want to throw a grenade at me, bitch. And, uh, yeah, just happened to be one guy and not the whole team assaulting me like I thought it would be. Hey, payback, yeah, fuck you, I don't even remember the last time I died, but whatever. <laughs> I got just leaning against the wall, take a pot shot at him. Oh, dead body, whatever. More dead now. <laughs> I could not do a thing about that. I see the rocket flying at me the whole time. What I was actually trying to do is shoot the rocket out of the air, and, uh, it, don't try it. It's, it's not very effective. The smarter thing to do would have been turn and run the fuck away. But, uh, no, that didn't happen. <laughs> now here, I, I, this actually really frustrated me. I turn, see the claymore, well, go, go, okay, well, have a flashbang. Claymore's inactive, run up and knife one guy. And then I get shot by an RPG as the guy is completely flashbang. He could not see a thing. I just got a random, random shot. Well, take this, you fucker. Have a grenade. Semtex almost stuck him, but hey! I got him, I got payback, got a buzz kill, yeah, fuck you. And I got another kill right after that. I love getting payback. I love the payback medal. And, uh, gosh, here, this this is one of those moments where it's like just some of the biggest oh shit moments here. You're turning around and there are enemies everywhere. Saw the, uh, the enemy care package. Saw it drop. I'm like, oh, there must be a guy right over here. Eh, there he is. And I got him. Took too many bullets, but whatever. And captured his crate. Turned out to only be an RC car, unfortunately. But, eh, better than nothing. Better than ammo, at least. And here we go, drive around. I haven't used one of these in a while. I just see someone over there. And, uh, what bow? And I think I only got, yeah, I only got one out of that. I thought I got two at first, but apparently I didn't. Whatever. And, uh, I didn't notice, if anyone really doesn't notice, the map, the map actually extends decently far back. And this guy is just slow. <laughs> Can't hit me, I guess. And uh, that guy could have easily killed me as well, but he didn't get me either. And now I have my B-52. Now here, uh, what I was doing, I knew the enemy was on this side of the map. So I looked at the map right here, and it's not showing it because I recorded it in theater mode. But I looked at the map where I needed to set it down, and I went, fuck that, I'm just going to kill myself. Because I wanted to get my attack dogs, and I didn't want to commit suicide. So I start running over to the other side of the map where all of my teammates were in logic would state. They're on the other side, and I like how my B-52 just kind of popped up. Now this is what I mean by the B-52 is rape on this map. Look how many kills I get with it. One, two, three, and there's four. I ended up getting four kills with it, and then I died, and some fucker came up behind me and ended up killing me. And, uh, stopped me short of my attack dogs once again. I could have got attack dogs actually multiple times on this map, which is a little fresh. Well, actually, I probably couldn't have got them multiple times, because usually once one person gets attack dogs, and their team is winning by this much, uh, it's just over. You don't get enough time to get attack dogs once again. But, um, yeah, it, they stopped me just short. I could have barely got attack dogs to the end of the match, but I didn't. <laughs> this is the advantage of LMGs. Just keep shooting until they're dead. I got 60 round magazine, and I'm going to use it. And that was the end. My helicopter actually got the last kill of the match. Yeah, but it was, a, it was a decent match. Not really an amazing match. But I just wanted to uploading this, upload this to show you. The HK-21E is actually a pretty good gun. As you can see, it went 30 and 6. Uh, it's a very decent gun, depending on the map you're playing on. It works very well on grid. LM, pretty much almost all LMGs do. I still think the M60 is my favorite LMG. But the 21E is definitely definitely a good rifle. Maybe my second best favorite LMG. I'm not sure where I would rank on my, my list of favorites. Uh, but 36, decent match on grid. If you guys want to use the HK-21E, go ahead and try it out on this map. And uh, I'll see all you guys next video.